Hey everybody, welcome to Let's Play Subnautica Below Zero. So I'm looking forward to playing this game. I had played Subnautica, the original version, quite a few years ago now. And uh, now Subnautica Below Zero is out and I'm looking forward to playing. It has an awesome story to it as well. And uh, it's basically an ocean survival game. So instead of surviving on land, you survive in the ocean and then you basically build up your character lasting longer, building uh, vehicles and uh, bases, etc, uh, etc. Et so let's get started, shall we? And uh, if you like, subscribe. Um, I told you guys I was going to start giving you the numbers uh, when I start a new series or try to remember. Um, so I'll only do this at the first episode, this one, and then I will do it again, so I won't annoy you. But uh, so far in the last 28 days, only 17.5% of people who watch my videos are subscribed to the channel. So... Uh, it'd be kind of cool to get more subscribers over time. Anyways, let's go ahead and start playing Subnautica Below Zero. So we're going to start a new game. So you got four options here. You got Survival, Freedom, Hardcore, and Creative. We're going to go Survival. Um, basically, you got the food, water, health, oxygen, and temperature. And then Freedom is just health, oxygen, and uh, temperature. Hardcore has uh, all of survival, except it also has death, and you never can come back from it. It also has no O2 alerts. And Creativity basically shuts off the story. No death, and uh, just basically it's creative, you know. So let's go ahead and play Survival. Well, there you go. I think that's kind of the uh, little spotlight in this one, the little penguin dude. It's kind of cute. You can do it, little buddy. Oh, there he goes. I wonder if they'll ever make a space uh, version of this. Subnautica in space. Okay, here we go. This is the farthest that I can take you on company space bucks, Robin. You sure you want this? The research is in everything. It is to me. And Sam. I need to know what happened. The meteor storm. I can use it for cover from Altera's eyes. <sighs> Gonna miss you, Robin. I'll find my way back. Here we go. That's so cool looking. Unknown Worlds Entertainment presents... Approaching Asteroid. 4546 speed. I used to be Surface a meteor now. <laughs> Drop pod deployed. I needed that. It's actually kind of cool. We, I guess we had the drop pod in tow. There you go. Oh, look at the parachutes up there. Welcome to 4546 speed. Thank you. Enjoy your stay. I will. Oh. Okay, well that didn't go over. Oh, look at this. You can pick up flare. And you can chuck a flare. Oh, that's kind of cool. Um. I guess we can pick up these flares. I don't know if they're useful. There's some food here. I guess there's just maybe some scattered debris around here we can check out, and then we'll probably uh, head to our pod, I think. So this is your PDA, you can hit tab, you get your inventory blueprints, beacon manager, photo manager, voice logs, and data bank. So, we'll, we'll, we'll go through some of this, obviously, uh, I think we'll just, just get the basics down here first before we move on to uh, filtered water, okay. Is there anything cool over here? Probably not. We're getting a little cold here though, so we should probably get out of here. Okay, oh, more flares here. Cool. Oh, more food. Oh, more water. Okay, look at this. We're getting lots of stuff here. I don't know what that is. Can we get warm from this? Yeah, look at that. You can get warm from the heat. That's awesome. Sweet. Okay, let's get out of here. Smokes! That did not go as planned. Oh, it's like it, it. Look at it's heating me. I should me. find a way into the water and get to the drop pod. <laughs> that is so bloody cool. It's like a heating plant. Oh, that that is really cool. Ooh. Okay. 
I guess we're gonna go in the water. I'm just checking out what else is around here. I'm guessing we probably can't climb around here. I'm, I'm yeah, no. They, 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 they physically seem to put a ball, a wall up there, so it's not meant to do that. But if you don't want to go in the water, you could be like, no, I'm not going in the water. I refuse. Ah, oh, we're going in now. And here we go, Subnautica. So it's like the old game here. We can go around collecting things. Looks like we have a part over here already. What's this for, I wonder? This is a sea glider fragment. Oh, I don't think we can. No, I think we need a scanner for that. So we have to wait for that. But we can go around and uh, gather some items because we're going to want these. Oh, the thing is attacking. We better be careful. It might hurt us. Yeah, so. Oxygen. Oh. Yeah, yeah. So what we're going to do, I guess our, our biggest uh, thing is we're going to go to our pod. Um, and we're going to gather resources on the way there and after our, our way there, things like that. And basically, we're going to work on getting ourselves some upgrades. So uh, I'm guessing some of those upgrades might be related to... What is this? Ribbon, Ribbon plant. plants contain electrolytic materials that can be used in energy storage. At least for anything? No. Um, so maybe batteries or something else, maybe? There it is there. I'm going to get some more uh, oxygen here. I just want to gather while I'm going around here. Might as well, right? Uh, so yeah, and then we're going to start working on our upgrades to our suit. So uh, if it's like the other game, you can work on like your tank. And I think there were some flippers. And let's see if our, we have an inventory. Yeah, flippers. And oh, there's gloves here. A tank. Some other stuff. So I think it's pretty similar to that. So, oh. Did we go to this one or was it a different one? Oh, no, it was a different one. Okay. I don't know if I really need all these, but I'm here. You can always make more storage too later. I, I caught a fish. Discovered. It's a boomerang. Oxygen. Okay, where's my little uh, pod? Oh, there it is. So close. Actually, we're really close. Well, now that we're close to their service, we might as well get the uh, oxygen there. There we go. Found the drop pod. Make some food over of a little fish here. <laughs> oh, there's a log here. I want to get to my log. Where is that? Okay. Logs and communication, Sam. So I'm Robin. I um I'm sorry about your sisters. Oh. I want to offer my sincerest condolences on the lore passing here, of your I guess. sister. I got to know Sam. Oh, batteries. There you go. Towards the end of my mandate with Altera on 4546B, when we were thrown together as pacemates at Outpost Zero. She spoke often and fondly of you. There you go, Scanner. I thought you should know. It didn't sit right with me when Altera blamed Sam's death on negligence. The Samantha Ayu I met was many things. Kind, clever, devoted to her work, but never negligent. I wish I could offer you something more substantial, but my access to information has been cut off. You may be in a better position to look into things than I am. If you're able to, Delta Station was our HQ. They were in a big hurry to leave, and there might still be information to be found there. It has a big radio tower. Impossible to miss. I hope you find the answers you seek. Lillian okay. Bench. Well, thank you. Well, Sam, I guess I might as well gather some tools and resources before starting my search. Hope that radio tower is as easy to spot as Lil said. Okay, that's cool. So, um... Yeah, we should see what we want to do blueprint here. So we're going to want to get a few things here. So here's the uh, the O2 here. And you can right-click this. But you need fiber mesh. That seems pretty easy. And silicon rubber. Okay, let's do those two. Oh, we might as well work on a compass eventually. Wiring kit. So let's get the, the, the two anyways for sure. So we need creep uh, creep vine. Okay, I remember those. Those are those long plants in the, the deeper water, I think. And creep vine samples. So... Uh, that's glass, and then you had the wiring kit, which was silver. Okay, seems pretty simple here. Okay, so uh, yeah, let's let's do that then. So they talk about a radio tower. Is this something actually we can see here? Uh, <laughs> we can kind of see the hill over there, but that's like a glacier and probably pretty close by, to be fair. So potentially, I don't know if the weather ever clears up, but potentially you might find a radio tower eventually. 
I'm gonna check what's over here. This is actually kind of cool. You can go on the surface of the planet, to be fair. Is it hailing or something? Oh, look at that. It is hailing, I think. That's pretty cool. It's a very stormy area, isn't it? I want to know if I can get on here. It just looks kind of like fun and interesting. It just might be shaped just to make it interesting. Yeah. It doesn't really feel like there would be anything here. They kind of make the movement not the best on land, but then again, it's not really supposed to be a land game, so you do some land stuff if I remember, but... Oh, well, here we go. Well, we found the creeper vine anyways, so here you go. Let's get her out a bunch of these, I guess. And we also need... Um, no, I think you might need a survival knife for that one, so we'll have to work on that. What else can we get here? Get some more fish to eat. I guess we can chase down some of these poor fish. You're mine, buddy. But really, we should just work our way back, and then uh, we can start crafting some of this. I think we're going to do that some running back and forth, this. right? So, What material was that? She got excited. Oh, yeah, we can scan things, don't forget. We should probably do that. Crap, I didn't realize it was so far away from the surface. There we go. Yeah, I should probably uh, scan things so you know what you're picking up and what it is. Oh, this guy, I know who he is. Oh, can we scan him too? Yeah. There you go. What about you? Limestone chunk. New creature discovered. Chance of copper. Oh, that's cool. Basically, I think it's always like a chance of copper or uh, a chance of copper or silver or gold or whatever, right? And then it's going to be Oxygen. titanium after that, so. Oh, crap. I can't wait till we get a tank on us. Ooh, here we go. Oh. Yeah, we got to be careful with our uh, little exploration here. We might get ourselves. Whoa. Oh. Oh, I let him go. Hey, I wanted you. You're my supper. There you go. I took off this. I wanted to scan this too here. Bullseye mushroom. Okay. Just thinking, might as well scan what I can, so. Apparently, we can scan even that. <laughs> That's cool. Okay. I thought there was something right there, but yeah, you saw that too, right? Am I going crazy here? Oh, it was just, oh, okay, it was highlighting all the way. I didn't realize it would go that far. Okay. So we're playing like Pokemon, updating our catalog like crazy here. Oxygen. Okay. Oh, we should check out some of these other journal entries and listen to them. I'm about dropping into an unknown area, but luckily, this biome seems to have an abundance of minerals I can use for tools and upgrades. I didn't want another situation like Byzantos 5. When Xenoworks dropped me off, there were barely any resources. I survived off the land for three months with just a knife, my lucky PDA, and some rope. I am still kind of proud of that, though. <laughs> Might as well make some of this, uh... Because you get two from the other one, so I'm thinking of compressing the amount, right? So, might as well craft it into something if it'll bring down the size of it a bit. So, we got the copper here. Yeah, we could do copper wiring. There you go. And then we can build. So, the, the one guy you can make into water, I think you can also make them into food. Uh, if it's the same as, yeah, I see the icon there. So, you can also make them into food if you like. And then I guess if you have salt, you can make them uh, last longer there. So there you go, we got fins here, awesome. And then for tools, we got the survival knife, nice. Okay, so do the fins automatically go on? Yeah, okay, and then you got your survival knife, awesome. So uh, let's see what, uh, scanning at last. In goes the battery and titanium, out comes the scanner. Every xenobiologist's favorite tool. This planet has some fascinating flora and fauna, and I can't wait to learn about them. This will also give me access to a greater tool set. I'm assuming Altera left behind tech that I can scan for blueprints. 
That should make surviving and exploring out here a bit easier. Don't worry, Sam. I haven't forgotten I'm here for you. But it can't hurt to do a little research on the side, right? I know you would have done the same. I will find out what happened to you. I promise. Oh, hello, penguin thingies. Oh, gosh. Did it bite me or is it just looking at me? Oh, maybe it wants to fish. No. Oh, my goodness. What happened there? Maybe he actually ate it. Is he sleeping? Oh, he fell? Maybe he's napping. Oh, they're so adorable. Can I scan these guys? They're little penguins. Pangling. Pangling. Penguin. This is like the mother version. Darn it. I need to scan the mother. Ah, they're moving. There you go. Let's scan this one. There you go. Cool. I love this game. I love going around scanning things. I know it's like the most silly thing in some games, but it's always fun. It's just like, hey, gives you gives you something to do, right? Oh, here we go. Oh yeah, there was another one of these too, right? Or yeah, Sea Glide. So those, the Sea Glide will give us uh, the ability to move around really fast. It'll be like, um, well, I, I don't know what they call them Sea Glides in real life, but they're, they're, they're a real thing. Basically, you hold on to it and it has a little bit of propeller. Um, I think it's usually battery operated and uh, Yeah, it lets you move around and uh, lets you travel a bit easier. I'd actually love that if I could have it wasn't really expensive if I could have something like that or some sort of like um, I Guess it'd be too big at that point But yeah, I guess an oxygen tank if you can do it yourself But something where you're like if you had a cottage or something and you can you know have something where you can fill up a, a breathing thing Maybe something lighter so maybe it lasts like maybe 10 minutes nothing too long But then you had something where you can kind of Explore under under the water a bit. That would be pretty cool. So that's a chance of lead. Oh, okay Lead is uh, a good thing to be fair. So we want to we want to get that when we can I think lead is considered more rare. So. Oxygen. Okay, so we gotta go back to the top here. So I wonder how does it have tooltips on these? Approximately 15% speed increase. So that's pretty cool. Okay, so what we were really here for was this anyway. So we should cut this up. Oh, they're pretty big size too. Okay, that's fine. New blueprint synthesized. Just checking what other materials we can find around here. I don't know if I want to go down here. I might drown. I'm an idiot now, apparently. Replenish oxygen. Not an idiot now. <laughs> Still an idiot, though. I can get myself killed down here if I'm not careful. New creature Ooh. discovered. I can scan this. Sea glider fragment. Again? Awesome. Okay, we gotta get out of here or I'm definitely gonna drown. Oh crap. Oh crap. Oh crap. I think we're gonna drown. Nope. Maybe. We're good. I don't know why I was worried we was gonna drown so fast. I feel like, well, we got that plant, Oxygen. but did it like over oxygenate me or is it just maybe I, I got my timing wrong? I felt like we were screwed, honestly. But I guess we were good. There you go. More lead for the future. Or now, I don't know. We, we might need it for some other recipes here, so. Okay. So let's head back. That was used for, oh yes, the upgraded uh, oxygen tank. That'll let us breathe a little bit. So we have, what, 45 seconds right now, I think, so. Oxygen. Okay. Fabricator here, so we can turn that into the fiber mesh. Oh, baby. Okay, we can also do the batteries, and yeah, you got some other stuff here. Haven't gotten silver yet. I might as well do batteries. I'm just thinking a good way to compress stuff, right? Well, we got none of those. So let's put this. I'm sure we'll need wiring later on. Okay, and then we got your food. So we got a couple of foods. Um, let's just do all food. Our water is doing actually really good. We have the other rations and stuff we picked up too, but I was just trying to conserve them a bit. There you go. So two titanium and the fiber mesh. Awesome. 
It looks like oh blueprints to oh wow okay tank. oh yeah the co that's what I wanted to oxygen tank can be upgraded for deluxe and VIP breathing okay repair tool cool and deployables oh okay so this could be you could put some of your junk outside and put it in there we'll make one of those right now okay so here we go um decomposing oh did you need two per thing uh, can I eat it? Yeah, why not? Waste not, right? And then uh, we can eat you guys. There we go. And cool. And then uh, so we got a couple of lead. Awesome. So we got some quartz here. Gonna put the rest in there. Copper wire. Uh, extra battery, I guess, can go in there. And then we could also take out some of this other stuff if you want. Like this, flares are kind of useless, right? So might even take that out. Uh, and then we could just take these outside and put them in this container, so. And then, uh, what about the sea, oh, here it is. Sea glide, unknown ingredients. So we still have to, we have to learn more about the ingredients, I guess, over time, so that's fine. So let, let's go ahead and deploy this here. It's not working, oh yeah, there you go. It's open storage. And this way we can just store. So it has a bit of storage, not a huge amount, but obviously enough to get us going. So yeah, now we have, let's see what this tank gives us. 30, oh there you go, yeah, 30 seconds. Cool. Now I wonder if you could take this out. Oh yeah, you can. Oh, so if you really, really needed to for whatever reason, you could carry a bunch of tanks with you and just swap them out. I'm guessing, I, I didn't know that was a thing, but I, I mean, it looks like it's a thing, so. Okay. So where are we gonna go now, my friends? I guess wherever you want to go. Let's let's go. Let's view around here. Actually, can you get in here? Kind of has that look to it, but I don't think so. Well, I'm not sure. Actually, it does look like it's meant for you to go in here, but I think it's for looks. Oh no, it's kind of screwing when you get too close. So no, maybe not. Maybe worth checking out here. Oh my goodness, I don't know what that is. What are you? Oh, he's full now. Wait, is that just... Oh no, it's a different one, a brine wing. It's like an evil version of the penguins, I think. <laughs> we'll call him the evil penguin then. Oh, here's another... I think you get resources, let's see. Oh. I thought we already got that. Or did we not get all the parts before? Maybe we just didn't have all the parts, but it shows up? I don't know. For some reason, I thought you got resources after you got all of them, but maybe we just didn't have all of them, actually. Here's another one, so we'll see what happens here in a second, I guess. Do -do -do -do. Yeah, there you go. So we probably just didn't actually know them all yet, so... That was my mistake. Do -do 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 -do. No, we don't need all this stuff, but you know, might as well grab what we can here. Just thought I'd explore this a bit. Do -do 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 -do. Okay. Ooh. Ooh, is that gold? Was it coal or something over here? Oh, silver. Gold and silver. Okay, that's Christmas Day. Wow, okay. Well, we can make that compass now. So that's some good news. Yeah, usually you don't find gold till later. Like, I think gold is more... Well, maybe not too later, to be fair. Oh. Supply cache. We'll check that out. Uh, I was gonna say not probably too far away, but more like um, I think you just have to go deeper in the water usually. So, what is that? Oh, creature egg. I don't look like that. Oh, they're gonna be everywhere. I'm guessing you can do stuff with that later on. So, he moves fast. Wow. Okay. A sea monkey. Hello. Oh, we okay. got. Wait, what the? Are you son of a? Some you just of the took my tool. Down here is ah. very grabby. He, what the? What the? He, he literally stole my tool. What a jerk. It's actually kind of adorable, though. 
Well, now we know be careful with those guys. Okay, what about that cache? There it is. I think this is, what is this, salt maybe? Can you scan salt deposit? No. It is what it is, so I guess you don't have to scan it. What about the quartz? Because it makes glass, but it's a raw one too, right? So, yeah. Put that away now. I don't know about these guys. They might try stealing it again from me. <laughs> That's cute. Okay, let's get one more breath of air before we go back down here. Okay. So here's a supply cache here. I wonder if I can scan anything here. Oh, there's something in here actually. A mineral detector. Ooh. That'll be useful. Oh, we can scan the light. I guess the blueprint to make it, maybe. Okay, got this. There's a PDA I'm here. I'm telling you, Sammy, you see some weird things when you spend half your day in a sea truck. More vandalism? Was it the sea monkeys again? I don't think so. I can't shake the feeling this planet is cursed. <laughs> There's no such thing as a curse. Yeah, you're probably right. That's nothing. You wouldn't want to hear about it anyway. Just a huge creature frozen in ice. What? Where? In a cave, not far from your lab. And here's the extra weird part. As soon as I called it in, they closed off the area. Don't want anyone going in there. But why? Sammy, I'm no biologist, but I think there was something wrong with it. Its skin just seemed off. Alien. An alien on planet 4546B. <laughs> no. I'm serious, Sam. Something ain't right. Wish I could show you, but I can't get back in there. You can. But I might know how to. Whatever you're thinking, we never had this conversation. All those guys. Oh, they're gonna hurt. It's gonna hurt. Ow. I forgot about that. They explode, but they have something you can grab. What was it? I don't know what the heck that was. Creature egg. Well, that's boring. I thought they dropped, like, an actual resource. I guess we should scan this one. Warning. Silver. 30 seconds of oxygen oh. remaining. Okay, I guess we should go back to the top here. I wanted to check out this cave, but maybe we won't test fate here. There might have an oxygen thing again that we saw in the other one, but meh. We don't need to get ourselves killed. We can always come back too, right? So. Okay. So we kind of were on the one side. We can go over here a bit more on our way back. Oh, look at that. Well, this is pretty much going to just give me titanium each time, so. N maybe not worth it, but you know, it's like the gotta collect them all. Unless they respawn or something. If they don't, then it's kind of fun, right? So. If they, they keep coming back, then it's like, ah, damn it. But obviously they have multiples around the world, so you don't have to worry about, uh, you know, if you were unlucky and you're, like, going one direction all the time. It's not like there's only three at all. Like some of those old hardcore RPGs, it's like, there's only three of them ever. That's all you get. Okay. Better ready to head back here. Nice, nice, nice. Isn't the graphics beautiful in this world? It is amazing. They've done such a great job. The other one was really amazing too. I mean, they just they they, they get better and better. This is like a continued. Uh, I don't know if it's a continued story. Actually, I don't even really remember the old story. To be fair, that's the the downside to it. I know some people claim this is just only like a DLC, but I wouldn't say so. I mean, it's a full game. Sure, it might be a whole new map and things like that, but it really depends on the games that people play because there's a lot of games out there where, oh, they create a new map and they, they sell it for 20 bucks or whatever, And but it's a different kind of game. There's different, you know, things related to it, and then they sell you other content, things like that, but it, it is a full game. You don't need the first one to play this one, so... Um, I think it's, we'll, we'll find out obviously, but I think from what I heard there's a lot of content and I'll be happy with it. It's taken them quite a many many years to do it too, so. Gotta feed developers, they, they need to live, right? So, we don't feed them then they're not going to be able to uh, do much here. So anything else? Oh yeah, the flare. Oh, let's just drop the flare then. 
creature eggs. I'm guessing these are going to just be somewhat common, so I'm just going to get rid of them. Oh gosh, sorry. Is it actually going to push it down? Oh my goodness, it's weighing it down. That's awesome. Okay, so uh, we can look at the fabricator here, so you can make glass. How many pieces? Two. Okay, well that condenses it. Condension is something we can use. Okay, let's get ourselves some water here. I'm guessing water doesn't ever expire. I just don't know what they're, uh, where they're getting the glass or plastic from, though, to uh, put it in. There we go. Okay, and then, oh yeah, we were going to look at that compass, so... Here we go, wire kit. Do we get enough silver? We might get enough silver for a couple of them, maybe even three. Let's see, ooh! Oh! There you go, that's awesome. Oh, actually, I should Oh, whatever. Sure, we can do that. Okay, and then... Uh, what else do we have down here? So we can make that compass. Which, hopefully it's not a... I think there's a... I hope it's like a utility thing here. Where is it? Uh, oh, it is already in there, so there you go. Oh yeah, there you go, you got the compass up there. Oh, and it fits in there nicely too, so... Um, okay, what about the uh, mammoth thingy, the sea glider? There you go, battery, lubricant, copper wire. Okay, that's we got everything then. Um, oh, battery, there you go. Ah, there we go. The sea glide is a personal transportation device used for high speed free diving, contains a built in light and map. This won't get another one of these guys done. Is somebody actually banging on this or something? Or is it something else? Literally it sounded like someone's like knocking on my door. Hello, hello, is anyone home? Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and then we can get rid of some of these resources now. We didn't put what we didn't want in there, right? No. Okay, so we're gonna right click, uh, left click, left click, drink, drink. There we go. Can we over drink? No. <laughs> Apparently, you can overeat though. I don't know till what you know point, but there you go. And yeah, we got our sea glide. So we're gonna let's shuffle this around. Let's put you here. Let's put you there. And then we're gonna go ahead and throw you over here. Oh, it's getting dark in game. So there you go throw that there we'll just have other junk sitting there and there you go so you can uh, use this so holy crap so right click is the light and F turns on and off the map okay but yeah look how fast we move on this so this will be awesome especially for next time so we're gonna end here in a second here but uh, look at us going oh, that's a flare I thought we had two eggs we dropped maybe we lost one of them oops I guess when you do it from the side, it, yeah, you gotta, there you go, open storage, there you go. I just wanted to throw it in there. Okay, so I think we'll leave it here. I think that was a great start to the first episode. Uh, we got, you know, basic survival stuff set up anyway, so that's pretty cool. We got our uh, fins, we got our, so we got 15% from the fins, we got the 30 second extra from the standard oxygen tank, we got a compass to see where we're going. Um, of course, we got our scanner, survival knife, and the sea glide. So, I think that's a really good start to this episode and uh, to the series even. And then next time when we come, we can go ahead and uh, go further, deeper, and just keep exploring and getting new resources and seeing what we can find. So, anyways, my friends, thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe, comment, like, and we'll see wonderful people next time. Have a wonderful day. Goodbye.